Umbro positive. Chem Ocean and Aces and Sevens, Mumbo King in the trailing post. It's post time for the 59th Canadian Pacing Derby Championship. They're all on the gate, the field of 11. One of the most elite fields to ever face the gate in Canadian history for the Pacing Derby final. And they're off in 2001 with Gallo Blue Chip along the inside. Space Shuttle is leaving. Armbro proposal. Armbro positive up into the top four. Electric Stena is on the outside into the top five. And Intrepid Sealster is to follow up in sixth into the first turn. Mumbo King is seventh away. Eighth along the inside is Goliath Bayama. Then Royal Flush Hanover, Cam Ocean. Aces and sevens was 11th and last, leaving Mike Lachance briefly to the front. With Armbro positive, Gallo Blue Chip had a peek at his seat along the inside. Stayed out there and drives to the top. Quarter was 26 and 3. Into the back stretch. It's Gallo Blue Chip going under a little bit of urging from Dan Dubé to clear. Armbro Positive sits along in second. Armbro Proposal is third. Space Shuttle of the inside fourth. There goes Intrepid Sealster. First over from fifth. Mumbo King sixth on the inside. Goliath Bayama is seventh out. Eighth on the outside for Royal Flush Hanover. Electric Stent is ninth on the inside. And it's back to Cam Ocean. Tenth out and Aces and Sevens was eleventh. It was Gallo Blue Chip getting the half in 55 and 3. 29 seconds in the second quarter. Gallo blue chip just over three eighths of the mile away. Armbro positive sits to the inside second. Intrepid seals to trying it first over. And Armbro proposal is locked to the inside and fourth. Gallo blue chip second over installed flow from fifth. Along the inside six is Space Shuttle and Royal Flush Hanover. A long way to come from seventh. Mumbo King is eighth. Cam Ocean is ninth. Electric Stena was tenth. And eleventh on the outside was Aces and Sevens. And Gallo blue chip is driving away by five. He's trying to get an insurmountable lead into the stretch. 123 the three-quarter time. Gallo Blue Chip 27 and 2 in the third. He's moving away from the field. The ultimate Blue Chip investment was Gallo Blue Chip. He's won all six of his career starts on Mohawk Racetrack including the 59th Canadian Pacing Derby over Armbro Proposal and Royal Flush Hanover and it's the Canadian Pacing Derby Championship to Gallo Blue Chip in 149 and 4. The field of 11. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, back in Mohawk's winner's circle, the highest earning pacer in world history. Surpassing that milestone last week here at Mohawk, tonight a champion in the 59th Canadian Pacing Derby to take his rightful place in Canadian and world harness racing history. Number two, Gallo Blue Chip, who also on Canadian soil, won the North America Cup and Breeders' Crown and the Burlington Stakes. He's a 36-time career winner now, over $3.6 million. Trained by Mark Ford for Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York, and driven to victory by Danielle Dubé. The winner circle presentation for the Canadian Pacing Derby Championship Trophy 59th year made by Mr. Hugh Mitchell, Senior Vice President of Racing for Woodbine Entertainment at Woodbine and Mohawk. We have our Greg Blanchard down in the winner's circle and we'll go to his post-race interviews in just a moment. Here, uh, Mark Ford. Race unfolded basically the same as last week. You had to be feeling pretty good about things at the half. Oh, I tell you, I always, you never know how things like this are going to go. And uh, I was hoping that um, maybe that's the way things had happened. So uh, you couldn't have been, it couldn't have worked out any better for us anyway. You said last week after the race, um, you were thinking uh, before last week about the all-time earnings record. Uh, now we look ahead a little bit to uh, year-end honors again. Is that something you're starting to think about again this year with them? Well, year-end honors are, you know, in the States anyway with the Breeders' Crown uh, poll and all. It's very political. And with the United States and all, I'd say Gal uh, Goliath Bayama will, 
you know, he'll probably be AIDS facer of the year, I would think, because of, the, of what he did at the Meadowlands. But they're, they're really pretty close, and uh, either one of them deserve it. And, uh, you know, uh, we couldn't ask for, for any more. He's been a great story. Every once in a while, a horse comes along that uh, really captivates people's attention. We uh, just heard a very nice round of applause here when they left the winner's circle. Let's look ahead to next year. Uh, what can we look forward to? Are our fans going to be treated uh, again to seeing Gallo Blue Chip as long as he stays this good? Well, we'd like to race him maybe a couple more times here. Uh, there's another race on Breeders' Crown night, uh, the 13th, I think, uh, the Ontario uh, Gold Cup. And then uh, we might race him once uh, in Montreal, but I'm not sure yet, but still uh, you know, way down the road. But as long as he's, as long as he's good, we'll race him. Uh, he'll get the winner off and uh, maybe try to come back next year for the, um, for the uh, Classic Series or maybe later on. But they race, so much, they race for so much in the middle of the summer that uh, you know, as long as he's competitive, we'll, we'll keep racing him. But we'll never cheapen him, and uh, he'll never race uh, you know, just in overnights and such. But uh, you know, horses like this are definitely once in a lifetime, and, and uh, you just can't say enough about him. Mark, congratulations. Good luck on the way to $4 million. Thank you very much. Gallo Blue Chip does it, 2001 Canadian Pacing Derby champion. Still lots left to come tonight. Race 10 on the way out. Let's go back inside to Peter.